Jim Tucker, a child psychiatrist at the University of Virginia for 50 years. That's what I'm talking about. Talking about how people are now remembering that they are the ancients, remembering all of their past lives. Now, for example, if you know that you are what lives inside of your being, the skin on the outside is just a shell that carries you around. But the consciousness that's inside of you has been here since time began. If you weren't here in the beginning, how could you be here right now? Because at the end of the day, you see the spirals. It took you as your warm self with two parents, that's three, a trinity right there. Then you got four grandparents, that's three, one, four, that's pi. That's mathematics right there. You bring it back to the eight, infinity, you got four, then eight great grandparents. Them eight got 16, them 16's got 32, 64, 128, going back to the beginning. Now, there have been many creation stories and ethos and ethos and mythos, but I'm going to tell you, my name is Eon, as in an ion or a cell. Eon, as in a thousand years in one breath, but I'm still a Ra or a Ras. Ion, Nathaniel. Dawkins, that's my name. And I'm going to tell you on a little journey going through my origin, my life before I came in this skin. A life. A life. We talk about breath of life. It's not about religion. It's about the real ions that live inside of your skin. It's the amigo or the amoeba from one single cell and the intelligence that lives in all cells that's a pattern that's the fibonacci or the fibers innate of your being because you got that as a gift from your ancestors and i'm talking about your ancestors as the first ones that came here as elements before you even took on human form fire earth wind, water, and that whole cycle are one and one and one and one. It's codependent on each other. Bet you they told you they couldn't figure out that code of one, 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 infinite ones. That's your fiber innate sequence that's talking to you. Like an octave, like a chord, a door ray open inside of your matter, your meat suit. That's a, do, re, me, fa, so, la, ti, do. Music, mathematics, meta, and physics. Chem, which means the land of the black. History is chemistry. We put the period at the dot at the end of every sentence of every age. It comes back black, dark matter. You want to talk about dark matter? Are you ready to climb down the rabbi tea hole? The rabbit hole? Come on, let me take you on a trip to Wonderland. Because we shine light on everyone. Egalitarian. Equally. That's my vibration. From the eyes of Ra. To the tomb of Ra. Or the tomorrow. Or the DNA in your bone morrow. It's still the same one. Tetragrammaton, yeah, star tetrahedron, I'm the head doctor one man, and I'm talking to you, barking at you like a new bee, Ian, the dog skin man, I'm balanced, a 10. Now I want to talk to you about life as you know it, and tell you a story. Now in the beginning we had language, but language existed in thought. We communicated by thought. We didn't need words. It was about frequency, sound, vibration. I want to show you some of the tributes of your ancestors. This is just a boat. Yet it still represents the masculine principle working in conjunction.
conjunction with the feminine principle. See what I mean? Takes two. If you look in the Bible, as that story tells you, it says in the first chapter many things, but it's in the 27th verse that it tells you how humans begin. It said, come let us make man in the image of God. Let's make them, male and female, to be fruitful and multiply. And that was the six-pointed star, the sixth day. God saw that it was good. He saw himself in all of those beings, both male and female, equally. And they lived for an entire cycle, not a 24-hour day. This story has gone on. So many people try to tell it. But now I'm going to tell you my perspective. If it resonates with you, then you'll know the Ra sun is still a light shining down in your mind and you'll see some enlightenment. If it doesn't resonate with you, then it's all right. You can find another storyteller and they'll tell you another version, which is still verse and ions of the same story. Now let's go back to the beginning. You'll see the pharaohs. You'll see the angelic man. You'll hear about the Elohims. You'll hear about their creators, the Anunnaki. And you'll hear about the Nephilim, fallen angels. But you're going to also know of Adama, the one created on the seventh or the set. Siete. It's just numbers. Those cycles. I want to show you all some of the symbols. Y'all might look at this one and not recognize that though it's beautiful now, it's caused a lot of problems because it's still one story that was taken a little bit out of perspective. Moses wrote the first seven books from memory, from the teachings he received while he was in the Pharaoh's land. See, the Pharaoh's land is the land of the black. And they still use the books, they use the gospel, the ghost spells. And many of the symbologies you see here, like the symbol of Mayat, the scarab, the dung beetle, is still in the Bible. Though it's mistranslated, you have to remember this book was written by black in the land of the black called Kem, for the black. And no matter what anybody tells you, even if they put a whitewashed face on it, it's still identity theft. Anyway, I can preach it to you, but I'd rather reach you through it so you can find your own truth. You will go through a quantum metamorphosis because then you'll realize that God made you in the image of himself, herself, in the likeness of herself, himself. And you became alive because even in the breath and the air you breathe it, you're still breathing in God because God is still everything around you in the skin of the goddess, which is your material or matter. All of your eyes seeing in one. Comes back down to the same story. They say he's omnipresent, she's omniscient. And the love is the omnipotential. Amor, Roma. But look, who's the true Jew, El Afra? Who are his true children? Are they the ones that imprison you on slave ship Jesus? <laughs> J did not exist back then. It was a Y. Yeshua. Didn't Muhammad have to come back and give you another story? 40 days in a cave? Taking this dictation from Ja or Ya? Or Rasul Alami. Rasul means messenger, man. It means the ray from the far eye. He said that in this book, if you are an infidel, you'll never get the true meaning of it. If war lives in your heart, you'll never find love and war coexisting in the same space. Love, unconditional love, is this whole experience. That's what it's about. You are all castaways, souls that came here on this platform called Earth, a living, breathing being. 
though she's a giant and you can't see her for who she is, she's alive and she provides your material. And I'm talking to you. I'm talking to your skin and I'm talking to your cells. You've seen Selah in the Bible a lot of times, but you didn't realize it means cell liberation. Selah birati. It still gives you the sound frequencies of God, which is Ra, which is T as in the cross or the Ankh. What you know about Ankh? The tree of life? Let me show you. Yeah? This tree of life exists inside of all living things. It's an express ion, an expression, it's a vibration. It is your chakra. Sha as in chi energy. And ra as in the rays of the sun, still energy. There's seven of them inside of your body. And the most important is let no man steal your crown or your third eye, the eye that you really see. Your consciousness that lives inside of you and me. The pineal gland. Yeah, pot, nail. It's a center in your brain. It is how you interpret everything that you see and interact with. Yeah, now nah, I'm telling you, a lot of secrets are coming now, coming back to your vibration. But I'm gonna give you some clues and some tools that you can use. Look around you. The word crystal, crystal ions. Christ ion, Christian. It's a derived word because the children that were left back here did not understand this technology that we left for them in the beginning. It's just like Gilligan's Islands, man. You're a bunch of castaways that forgot your divinity. Look at all the pyramids with the nose knocked off. He who knows, knows. Yeah. And we, the sun, the celestial ones, we shine that light like a rose. Iris eyes are watching you. Your operating system is your osis. So osis and your eyes come in together. What's that? Osiris, man. In the I am gene of the first chapter in this book called Genesis. Gene of Isis. It's a combination of your genetics. Don't let no pink ideated fool try to school you and rule over you no more. Because now I'm putting the knowledge right here in your heart and right here in your mind. And it's activating your consciousness on the cellular level so nobody else can fool you and try to take your mind. So what's going on with the wars and the rumors of wars? What's going on with the weather? What's going on with them chemtrails? Yeah. Thank you for watching Souls of Law TV, man. And as we say in serious, Salam, Salam Acha, Salam Alaikum, which means be welcome, bienvenue, the place where God dwells in you. Rasut Alaman, so Asepsut Sulaman, Kra du Eken Kishi Kra, Enki, you know me, Anura Re. Salam Acha, peace. Check out the product conspiracy, because a lot of shit going on out there. No fear, the prophet that floated to the earth The 12, 12, 12, Aquarius in the works The birth, now be creative, I'm channeling my creator The stars are weakening at me, the planets are in my favor On point, blessing the Christian that call me crooked I sold her up for the truth, I'm building you, wanna argue it Soldier, I sold her, I sold her up for Yes, you are for showing up in the open The alien operation, the government misdirection No trusting television to lie through every vision I love